Good evening, and welcome to The Wine Corner. I'm your host, Kelly McKinney, of MAC-10CW Productions, where we dabble in anything and everything, arts, entertainment, and education. This evening's bottle is a 2012 Salt of the Earth Moscato Rubino, and it's a California Sweet Red Moscato. Tonight's chess setup was very simply the fishing pole trap, and tonight's classical score was Darius Melhad's La Creation du Monde. Alright, so like we said, tonight's bottle is the 2012 Salt of the Earth, and it's a Moscato Rubino, all right, which is just California Sweet Red Moscato. And Udi, we'll go ahead and we'll break into this. This is a Sweet Red Moscato. Normally, when I get a uh, Salt of the Earth, it is normally um, just their California um, Sweet Moscato, not the Red Moscato. Um, so... This will be switching it up just a little bit for me. And uh, this bottle costs $10.99. Right. Okay. And it has a twist top, but not a cheap one by any means. All right. I know some people usually associate that with a, with a rather insipid wine. And um, uh, especially in this case, that's that's not the case. Um, more and more switching to this, it's a little cheaper, and then you don't have the possibility of getting a rotten cork. So, but all right, no, you know the drill, right? I like to hold it up to the light, all right? Try to get a color, and it's got that really ruby red, okay? Um, and as far as clarity. You know, it's not cloudy at all. Um, you can see through it uh, quite well, except for the dark tint. And viscosity. Okay. And this one seems a bit more viscous than, um, uh, especially than more so than the last one we had. Um, it was definitely a lot more watery than I had originally given it credit for in the review. But, all right, so swirl and smell. Oh, wow, yeah, okay. And so this is just packed full of uh, delicious smells, okay? Um, the aromas are really great. Mm. And I want to say uh, it's a little it's sort of citrusy. Um, and then we also have, I, I have a lot of time, hard time a lot of times um, differentiating between um, a peach and an apricot smell in a wine. Mm. So it's hard to say. I probably have to go with peaches. So you get this really nice peach aroma. Mm. Wow, that smells great. Okay, all right. So let's see. California red sweet. We're expecting some sweet. And that is really good. And it is very sweet. Oh, wow. I don't have any oaky flavors there. Yeah, so what we've got is what I'd expect from a, a sweet Moscato, and especially salt of the earth. Basically, so r right now, the, very, the difference between the two variations between the regular California sweet Moscato and the California sweet red Moscato um, not a whole lot of difference. Not a whole lot of difference. Except for, this one might be just a little more viscous because it's, this has just like a small hint of oak to it, I think, in the aftertaste. Just a very, very, very small oaky hint in the aftertaste. Whereas, um, I don't usually get that from the California Sweet Moscato. Um, Yeah, we've got peaches, some oaky hints there. Hmm, interesting. Oh, and I realized one thing I had forgotten to do here was the tip test. Wow. Okay, let me tell you something. Um, now, when you normally when when you tip to the side, you're looking for color density, and it gives you an idea of the age of the wine. And this has this beautiful sort of amber rust hue to the outside of it, um, 
as it comes out towards the glass, uh, towards the rim, and um, it's just beautiful. And you can taste the, you can taste the age, you can taste the age, mainly with that oak. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, that's very good. Mm. Another excellent Moscato. Good job, Salt of the Earth. Oh, yeah, and you can find more details about this at saltoftheearthwine.com. Um, this vineyard comes out of Madera, California. And I'm just delighted with it. It's, uh, it's really, really very, very good. Um, a lot of times I find uh, in really the a lot of the cheaper bottles of Moscato, you know, that you can get for five or six bucks, um, you know, flip-flop and uh, barefoot, uh, even Oliver's Moscato's, um, a lot of times they don't have uh, a lot of really complex flavors. It's more of just a really sweet wine um, that's really spritzy for people. Uh, and I, don't get me wrong, a lot of people get started on Moscato, and it's a really great sweet wine. Um, but once you've had, like that bottle of Starborough that I had, that had the most delicious and haunting greeny flavors um, that were left dancing on the tongue. And this does the same thing with, with just a hint of oak and you still get that really rich peach taste afterwards. And I've never had a bottle of this where they overdo it on the alcohol either. Um, it's always the alcohol in uh, Salt of the Earth. They're their bottles. It's very subtle. Very subtle. Mm. Some people don't want to know they're drinking alcohol. Salt of the earth uh, may be your cup of tea. Or wine. Thanks for tuning in. When we come back next time, we're going to explore another local vineyard, Oak Hill Winery in Converse, Indiana. And I'm not sure what I'm going to bring back from there, but I'm hoping to find something complex and maybe a little towards the drier side. Nothing against the sweetness. Thank you, salt of the earth. And as always, this is Kelly McKinney. Reminding you that a great wine is like a great woman. Always intoxicating, ever surprising, and only getting better with age. Thank you, and good night.